reliable, clean energy for the world. It's a complex challenge we're addressing, and it's a complex machine we're building to help us address it. A machine to demonstrate the integration of systems needed for industrial scale, carbon-free fusion power. And whilst we love complexity, we also know that it needs clarity. So we need a baseline. Actually, not that kind of baseline. Sorry. It's this kind of baseline. It tells us the scope, schedule, and the cost. Of course, we already had one from 2016, but that was based on building the machine as quickly as possible to do a brief, low energy test using only hydrogen to get to first plasma as quickly as possible with a view to four more phases after that to reach full fusion power phase in 2035. But this meant some of our key components not being there because they wouldn't be ready for a few reasons. COVID shut down some of our suppliers' factories and caused shipping delays. And some of the first-of-a-kind components needed more work to make them work. Things that our 2016 plan couldn't foresee. So we decided we need a new baseline. Still not that kind of baseline. It's a new plan that's redesigned to deliver a more complete machine for what we're calling SRO the start of research operations. When we get to prove it works. It hasn't simply postponed the old deadlines, but has reprioritized and reorganized work steps. It'll also feature hydrogen and deuterium deuterium plasmas and will allow us to operate the tokamak in long pulses at full magnetic energy and plasma current. The plans have also been adapted to the current state of knowledge so that tungsten is now being used as the material for the first wall instead of beryllium. This baseline will also add more plasma heating. We'll be able to pre-test some toroidal field and poloidal field coils fully to four degrees Kelvin. The new baseline will take us closer to its end goal to demonstrate the integration of systems needed for industrial scale fusion. With a complex research project like ITER, we need to get it right. So, what's important? ITER will start scientific operation in 2034 and will be able to work on deuterium deuterium plasmas and with full magnetic energy in 2036. The latter is a delay of three years compared to the original plan. Operation phase with the relevant fusion fuel deuterium tritium is scheduled to begin in 2039.